so books is a big part of my hobby I think that my record collecting listening to music and reading about music in different books and magazines stuff like that is is one big organism for the last 10 years or something like that I have almost only read music related books I don't find fiction or ordinary fiction books that entertaining and and rewarding anymore i only read music related books because i always strive to find more information about what i love i'm here to show you my top 10 jazz related books that i have in my book collection that i believe every jazz collector should at least check out but definitely, I, I think you should read these. <laughs> so, cue intro. If you have any uh, books that you think should be on this list uh, that I should check out and other viewers, please uh, comment down below which, is, which book is your favorite jazz related uh, book. Write it down below and we get a discussion going amongst uh, myself and the, and the viewers. That would be awesome. I'm going to start with the two most important, I think. If you are starting off buying a jazz book, one of these is... They are still in print, so you can buy these. One of these is a must-have. This is a coffee table book. It's thick as a brick. And it contains everything that you want from a book really uncompromising expression the history and visual arts and fantasies of blue note records so what what we get is is as you can see a book with bunch of of uh, fantastic photos great great texts and insights of the label and the um, uh, people working and playing for the uh, for the label this is a book Compiled, I don't know if it's the author, author, but but compiled of by Richard Havers to give credit to someone, and it has over six hundred illustrations in it. This is the main book in my opinion. This is the first one you should you should get. The next one is the fantastic book by Ashley Can. So you have Blue Note Records, and then you need the the story about Impulse. This is the House That Train Built, the story of Impulse Records by Ashley Can. Also, it's not as thick, but it's fantastic. It's not a coffee table book, but it includes a lot of, of um, great photos, fantastic texts. Ashley Can is, is I mean, a highly rewarded uh, jazz uh, writer. Great, great uh, author. I mean, the, the love for Coltrane in this is super obvious, and we will... Uh, come back to Ashley Can later on but um, I think that this is the second one that you should get the other ones that I'm going to show you the other eight seven uh, is is you can get e either one but these two are highly highly recommended get them right now okay the third book and we continue on the Ashley Can sort of um, ride <laughs> this is a love supreme a creation of John Coltrane's classic album and what a what a book it is! This I have the pocket version of this. I don't know what a, it's called pocket. Po it's called pocket in, in Sweden. Filled with fantastic photos, great texts, easy to get into, easy to like, easy to read. Ashley Can is a fantastic writer. You won't be disappointed. I can uh, tell you that. And even if this book is about a love supreme, it's as much about Coltrane and his entire life and catalog. It doesn't only talk about I Love Supreme. It talks about everything uh, up to I Love Supreme and afterwards also. Great book. Highly recommended. <clears throat> the next one is Easy. This is one that is recommended to everyone. If you search for jazz books, this is maybe the number one, two, three slot. This is the Miles Davis autobiography. I have the Swedish version of this, but this is, I think this has been put out in one million different languages. It's one of the most popular books in or about jazz. Mine comes with some photos and uh, stuff like that, but it's written just as he's, 
he, he talks. If you have heard Miles Davis, seen documentaries, seen interviews, stuff like that, and hear him talk, he's a... Uh, he, he was an extravagant personality, let's just say that. And the entire book is written just like that. So so it's written by him, but it's obviously a ghostwriter. It's, it's nice. It's a little bit self-indulgence at times, but that doesn't overshadow the historical importance. And, and I mean, the stories that you get out from this book is so damn worth it. So... Uh, Get it. From the mind of Robin D. G. Kelly is The Life and Times of an American Original, Thelonious Monk. And I'm actually reading this right now. So I haven't, I have a couple of pages left. I'm at his, I mean, mid 60s maybe. And, but I can say already that this is one of the most well written books I have ever read about an artist ever. It doesn't leave out anything about Thelonious Monk's life. Uh, so damn good researched. It's insane. And his language is like a scholar. It's it's fantastic. Highly, highly recommended. And uh, I mean, if you're a jazz fan, you should read about Monk. I mean, of all the people, you should read about Monk. I mean, I love lists. This is a like top 10. So um, I love doing lists. I love I've always been a fan of, of lists and I'm a sucker for the magazines when when you read on on the cover of a magazine the top 100 jazz records of all time or the top 150 guitar players of all time. I'm on that sucker like a fly on a, on a fucking sugar uh, brick <laughs> but 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 so so when it comes to jazz uh this this is a fantastic book this is the penguin jazz guide also one that you could start with really because this 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 is a reviews of records from the beginning of the 20th century all the way to modern day i think 2000s something like like that it's pretty short like reviews in the book no pictures, not anything like that. It's just the the jazz records that the Penguin Guide thinks is the most important jazz records in history. So there's a lot of, of jazz records that I think should be in here. Uh, but then again, there's a pile, a pile of records that is highly deserved of, of being on such a, a list. And I mean, that's one of the main reasons i love lists because you don't agree <laughs> so so you read them and you don't agree with them and that's the fun part i will recommend it also the penguins jazz guide a history of the music in the 1000 and best albums let's get a little bit more into the avant-garde uh, woman women woman woman writer uh, val wilmer uh, made as serious as your life i think in the mid 70s maybe 1977 Looks like this. This is a fairly new edition of this book that's been out since 77. This is fantastic. This is sort of a, a history and guide of black music and the free jazz revolution from 1957 to 77. And it's just that. It's, it's the guide for you to get into more avant-garde and, and freer sort of uh, the, the freer movement of, of jazz. The stories she tells um, the interviews she have done, just insane. And this starts off with From Love Supreme to The Sex Machine. And it starts off with Joe Coltrane's I Love Supreme. And then it just continues on. So you have Sun Ra, Ornette Coleman, Cecil Taylor. Every chapter is a new artist. Uh, you can jump between, um, uh, b between artists if you want. Or you can do as I did, just read it from start to to finish, and you get the entire sort of flow and history of the of the book and and the movement of free music, just like the author intended it to be. Great, great book, highly recommended. Why shouldn't I recommend a book if I'm showing the ten be like ten must-have books? Obviously, I'm recommending everything. <laughs> I love John Corbett's writing. I think he's a brilliant, a brilliant uh, writer, and the, the, the things I've uh, read with him is is fantastic. Uh, with that being said, my recommendation is Microgroove by Young Corbett.
this this is awesome and and he describes this as a um uh, exploration of diverse music with essays interviews and musician profiles and that's just what it is uh, focuses on on the, the maybe the freer part of of jazz but not not only like the the old guard of jazz but also the the and the new one, but you have uh, Milford Graves, Peter Bretzman, Steve Lacey, Carla Blay, Misha Mangelberg, Anthony Braxton, just yeah, Sandra. Uh, also, one if you are venturing to those sort of unexplored territories of jazz, this is a great book to sort of start off with, maybe. Uh, Michael Groove, John Corbett. And the, le the next one is I think that this should be in every jazz fan's uh, bookshelf and be read. In my opinion, this is Coltrane on Coltrane, the interviews edited by uh, Chris DeVito. So this, this is just, just that. A uh, book with different interviews that John Coltrane did. And I don't think that, if I understand it correctly, that John Coltrane was the guy who gave the most interviews. It, he's not like Miles Davis who just spewed out everything to anyone. <laughs> um, so it's great to have a, a book that just edits all those uh, up. Some interviews are better than others, but highly entertaining. And if you're a Coltrane fan, it's a must have. And the last one. And once again, this is a, a, a great book with a lot of illustrations and, and uh, photographs and fantastic texts. And, and you can't really ignore the importance of, of uh, Downbeat, can you? The great uh, 75th anniversary anthology jazz interviews edited and compiled by Frank Al Kyer and Ed Enright, something like that. They compiled the best interviews from 75 years of writing about music in Downbeat magazine. So a pretty hard task to to uh, to do. So as you can see here, it's a, a pretty pretty nice book with illustrations in the background. You have uh, Nice photos, colored photos in black and white. It's um, it's a book in chronological order, so you have the 30s, 40s, 50s, and 70s, and so on. And it's just a dream come true, really, to to be able to read an interview with Duke Ellington or or uh, Benny Goodman in, in 1930s or or uh, Billie Holiday and and Charlie Parker in the 40s. I mean, what a treasure of a book! So obviously, highly entertaining. Um, and very very recommended and there's uh, there you go there's 10 books that I recommend every jazz fan have in their in their uh, bookshelf so yeah if you haven't please subscribe uh, and comment down below if you have questions and stuff like that remember to write your own um, best jazz books down in the comments so we can have a discussion going and until my next video the video <laughs> see you then bye